Hi, I'm Mal and welcome to Mini Model Makes. Today I'm going to be running through something slightly different um, in the run up to Christmas. Um, obviously everyone wants presents and wants decent presents. So I thought I'd cover 10 things which are not models. It's difficult buying models sometimes, especially for relative um, who wants to get you something isn't into the hobby and all they know is you paint green men. Could be dark angels, could be orcs could be anything from fantasy you might even paint something like ogres green so uh, it can be quite daunting um, and obviously difficult for staff or, or in working in shops or people to, to pick up exactly what you want they might want to get you something secret so that you know they don't want you to know um, what what you're getting and the other thing is it could be something like a stocking filler um, something cheap uh, if someone at work's doing a secret Santa um, it's, it could be a good idea to show them this video so they could pick you something up that way um, of course it's not just for Christmas it could be your birthday or anything like that in the future um, so uh, show your relatives this video if there's some things in here that make sense or that you might want and they can get some ideas for it so we'll move on now and I'll cover these 10 things number one is a figure case um, what's the point having all these wonderful painted models and then you're taking them down to your local hobby club or games workshop store or um, your, your local independent retailer in a tub with them rattling around chipping all the paint off and other bits and pieces like that. Uh, I've seen it quite frequently when I used to work in a hobby shop back in the day. Um, you get the little kids with all the models and they'd all be painted up and really proud of the paint jobs and they'd be rattling them around in like a, a margarine tub or, or anything else that was to hand. Um, as far as figure cases go, uh, there are loads of different suppliers out there, loads of different price points. Uh, Games Workshop do their own cases which I think the small ones are around the £30 mark. Um, medium sized or normal ones are about the 55 point mark uh, going up to so your larger cases which are getting towards the 80 pounds 100 pounds um, there's not just games workshop out there though uh, there are loads of different companies and loads of different ways to to store your models I'll quickly run through some of the makes um, I use a company called Battle Foam at the moment I've had nothing but brilliant customer service from them. They do have a UK store, which is great as well for me living in the UK, even though it's an American company. So you don't have to worry about things shipping over from sort of one of their foam trays, um, which can carry models. They're at different price points as well. They, they can be really cheap from about five, six, seven pounds up to about 25, 30, depending on what you do. What they also have is they have special trays. So you can go on their website and type in something like a predator tank and they'll give you a tray with a, that'll fit a predator tank or a lamb raider or anything else that's been released recently. So they're quite good. I've got a couple of the um, bags, so it, it is ludicrous what I can do with my, my uh, battle foam bag. It's sort of like a massive drag thing I can bring behind me and I can fit quite happily sort of 10 or 12k of my Iron Warriors in there, the, the really good. Um, also when I was going to a tournament they got me some stuff short notice uh, so as I say really good customer service. They also uh, or a lot of companies now are, are doing things called Magna Racks. These are kind of metal trays which you can put your models onto so long as you magnetize the bases so they're a really cool thing to buy and a lot of people seem to be going down that route. Something I'll be considering when I've got a bit more money at some point soon with uh, the met the metal racks they can come out quite expensive but the, you know your models aren't going anywhere they're not going to bang or crash or or break so that's that's another really good option maybe it's worth doing a video at some point soon going into uh, the different types of cases and things in in more depth that's not a bad idea <laughs> Um, there's uh, uh, some more companies there's one called KR Multicase they I've had some of their stuff in the past, that's good. It's uh, They do foam and other bits and pieces like the, the battle foam ones. Um, they do some cardboard cases, so they come in a bit cheaper and you've got your foam in there. And then what they 
what you can do with those is put those into like they do special backpacks and satchels and things you can put your bits and pieces into which is really good so that's another company that's out there so that's just covered three companies really quickly there are there are more uh, companies out there it's worth doing some research of your own but for now because i could rapidly do a video on on this one uh, by its own but i need to move on so uh, number two this is a cheap option painting handle this is a games workshop one and a oh, little bit of work in progress on there i'm painting stormcast eternals at the moment which is quite cool these are absolutely brilliant. They come in at about £5. Um, this is Games Workshop or Citadel's own one. I've got about a dozen of these because I sort of do models 10 at a time and I like to have them all in a row and I can just pick up the handles. Um, they do different sizes now, which is really good. So if you're painting something big like a, a Dreadnought, they actually have a, a bigger handle, which is about the £7 mark. Um, Games Workshop also do a pack of five of these for £25, which is quite good. They've also done a red one, which is more expensive than the black one. I don't know why. You know, at the end of the day, it's just a different colour. Just get a black one, save yourself 50p a handle. Absolute game changer. Um, used to use corks, but, but these are, are so much better. Grip the model nicely. Means I've not got fingerprints all over my model when I go to paint it. Superb, great stocking filler. Number three, brushes. I've got a wallet here. Oh, there's another one you could get a brush wallet. Brushes. Pack of brushes um, is about 12 to 15 pounds. Loads of different makes out there. Again, really, I use Army Painter for a lot of my work. I really like the triangular handles. Really good for me holding my brush with my sort of daft. I'm right-handed but left-handed, so I've got a weird grip. So these don't sort of slip or move in my hand. Really easy for me to lock on, which is great. Packs of those, about 12 15 Games Workshop do their own brushes as well and brush packs at similar prices. People starting to get really good at painting if you're breaking out brushes for a special occasion. Windsor and Newton, Series 7. A lot of the amazing painters out there swear by those brushes. There's some new ones called Artist Opus. Um, they're recommended by um, some amazing painters as well. Um, they're available online. They do special packs, but they're really expensive. You're going up towards you know, 10, 12 pounds for a brush with things like the Windsor and Newton and the Artist Opus but you, you get what you pay for. Um, you know, 50, 60 quid for a set of brushes for those. But if you've got someone who's being serious and I'm zipping on and zipping my case, <laughs> um, then consider those. As well as your brushes, um, the other thing that I'll, I'll quickly rope into um, with brushes is brush soap or brush cleaner. Prices vary wildly on the internet, uh, about 10 pounds. I get this one from Amazon, it's brush soap. Really extends the life of your brushes if you give them a good clean and a good wash. Um, all, all you need to do is, in, in there is your soap. You can see that. Um, just get your brushes wet, run them through your soap, massage it in, into the tips quite gently, give them a rinse off. Really extends the life of your brushes, and when you're paying a lot of money for things like the Winter and Newton ones, your artist opuses, for the sake of £10, and this is lasting me ages, uh, get some brush soap uh, and really look after your brushes. We've covered brushes, next thing we'll cover are some um, tools. Now, number four clippers, tool sets. When I was a kid, I'd be I never had a proper pair of clippers. I'd be uh, hurting my fingers, ripping them out of the frames and all sorts of things. You can't really do that these days. It, it'll break your models or damage your fingers. So something good for a, any hobbyist is a set of good quality clippers. They're around the, the, the seven or eight pounds mark for a cheap pair, up to about 19, 20 pounds for a, a really good pair. It, again, it's one of those things you get what you pay for with clippers. These are sort of some really cheap 
Games Workshop ones and um, they do in the sort of cheapy sets. They're okay, but I've noticed the design for floor with these is you really sort of catch your hand on them and, and give your hand a nasty nip, which is awful. Um, so it's worth splashing out on a better pair of clippers because um, A, you're not going to hurt yourself or get horrible pinch marks in your palm. Um, and the more precision, the, the more expensive ones. You, you're able to cut things out uh, a lot easier. So we've covered clippers. Uh, the, also, you can get tool sets which will include clippers, but don't please don't get a cheapy pair. Um, you get things like uh, cutting blades, uh, files, um, anything else, uh, essential hobby tools, drill bits and, and other bits and pieces. Maybe not um, something for a younger hobbyist, maybe just getting them a, a decent pair of clippers is, is the key for that because you know you start mucking about with scalpels and drills and knives and things. Um, yeah, younger hobbyists, you, you don't really want to let them loose on that too much. But the for a, for an older hobbyist or a serious hobbyist, uh, a good tool set is brilliant. Um, especially even if you have some tools and bits and pieces, your files wear out eventually. Your clippers do break a bit further down the line. So a good tool set is great um, and an essential hobby tool. Uh, tool sets go for about the twenty to twenty-five pounds mark. And um, same again. Go online, explore, do a bit of research, and you can get up some good prices. The next one on the list is the water pot. Um, Games Workshop are doing a new one now for about five pounds, which is really good. It's got a nice wide base, so it's hard to knock over. And um, there's little uh, finials, I think they're called, in them to put your brushes into and to to run through, so it keeps a nice point and things. This is a very old Games Workshop water pot, but get some use. Has those little finials in the top to put put your brushes in. Uh, never leave your brush in a, a water pot. Um, it damages the bristles for for around the five pound mark. Uh, quite cheap. Um, other things you can do. Excuse me for leaning across again. Uh, Games Workshop I did some mugs a few years back, which uh, were really cool. Um, and a bit different, uh, something to put brushes in or use as a water pot. Or failing that, little minion cup from Home Bargains, 50p. That's a cheap shop in the UK for anyone from, from outside the UK. I'm sure, I think America you have Target and things like that. But yeah, cheap cup to put water in, all your brushes in. Can't go wrong really. As I say, I recommend the New Games Workshop one though because it's a wider base, so it's really hard to knock over. So if you've not got your own painting area, you're painting at the kitchen table or the dining table, that wider base is great because you're not going to damage your water, uh, damage your water, damage your table by uh, spilling water all over it. Another cheap one after that is a paint pot holder. A paint pot holder, I hear you say. That's it, um, round about the £5 mark from Games Workshop, uh, £4.50 from a local independent store. Um, seems a lot for £4.50 I hear you ask. Well this one holds three pots and the worst thing in the world, and I do this frequently, is when I knock over my washes uh, or shade bottles, it is quite tall. The amount of Agrax Earthshade that I have wasted by knocking a pot and it going all over my hobby area is unbelievable. So this £4.50 probably saves me around, God, £100. Now, I'm only joking, but quite a lot of money on these, replacing these every year because I, I'm knocking my wash pot, pot over. Um, my wife actually thinks it's great because I'm not spilling wash everywhere. Um, so parents out there, get these for your kids if they're painting. Save you a ton of money. I'm sure if you do a bit of research as well, there's cheaper ones out there. But these are really cool. Save you a lot of money. Save you a lot of heartache. Simple thing, but uh, great. I wish, wish they'd 
not invented kind of thing, but come up with these sooner. Absolutely superb. Another cheap one now is good old palette. Everyone should have a palette. Thins your paints down, stops you clogging up detail, makes your paint smoother, gives you greater control. This is an old Games Workshop one that I use all the time. Uh, you can also go to the Home Bargains, that store again, or, or B&M Bargains or anything kind of like that. An art shop or it. You get these, the like 99p pound. I think yeah, I'll put up a link on Amazon to these. I think they're about a pound on Amazon. Really makes you a better painter using a palette. Really ups ups your production quality straight away. And the other thing you can get is you can get what's known as a wet palette. These are around the 16 to 20 pound mark. I've not got one yet, but I really want to get one. Maybe someone can get me one for Christmas. They work on the principle of it's like special paper which goes in, in a tray with a sponge. You wet the sponge, it keeps the, the paper nice and wet, which means your paints don't dry as quickly, last longer while you're painting, don't thicken up. Really, really great idea. Um, one of my friends at a gaming club uh, swears by it and uses it quite a lot. So that's a, a, another one to think about. After uh, the palette, another cool thing, well, well not so much cool, but the thing that stops your wife or your parents being annoyed at you is a cutting mat. Okay, this is absolutely covered in paint because it's really old. Cutting mats are about £4 for an A4 sized one, which is bigger than this. Can range up to about £25 for a huge one. Cover your painting area and help protect it. As you can see, I spill a lot of wash. <laughs> it's gone under there. There's proof. There's probably about, oh, I don't know, about 30 quid's worth of wash that I've spilled just on the bottom of that. But they protect your painting area. All the paint that's that's on this isn't on a table. So, you know, saves your loved ones, giving you a lot of grief. When you're assembling models, cutting, clipping out, things like that, protects your work surface and wherever you are. So another one of those daft ones, but one of those things that, you know, parents would love to buy you because, you know, rather that than a huge, massive scrape down the dining table, kitchen table, wherever you, your hobby, for the sake of a fiver, another stocking filler. Really good idea. Number nine is a project box. I have one, this is an old one, a Games Workshop one here. They do have a new one with other bits and pieces on there. And it, it's just a place for all your bits and pieces to go. Sounds daft. Um, not everyone has their own hobby area set up all the time. So great for people who are on the move or want to go and do some hobby down at the local club or anything like that. Or if you've got to share the kitchen table or dining table, um, it's a good place to keep all your bits and pieces together. You can put your brushes in there, your tools, models you're working on, basing materials, any other thing. Um, they, they also have some paint trays which go in these. I've got one here, which these are the newer ones. Just keep all your paints together. Rather snazzy. So, great for keeping things organised and where they are. The, you might not want to spend a lot of money on a project box. I think, you know, they can be around can go up to like 45, 60 pounds. Excuse me, I'm just pop popping this down out of the way. Uh, which, you know, can be a lot of money to spend for someone. So other things uh, which could be cheaper alternatives are things like desk or office desk organizers to put all your paints and tools and bits and pieces in. Uh, they work out quite a bit cheaper and it's a slightly different idea. That's something you can do. If you want to go down the way of uh, paint racks, there are loads out there. You can get some MDF ones from places like eBay, Amazon, 
with different sized paints. You might not use Citadel paints, you might use Vallejo paints. So they all fit certain things. Um, there's a company in Australia, I've forgotten the name off the top of my head, which is a shame. What I'll do is I'll put a link up across my face in this video in a minute to, to the webpage. They do some acrylic paint racks that are absolutely amazing. Someone like me, loads of different colours, textures, whatever, really funky. Um, I've got my own man cave here, my own painting area. Um, I really need to save up and bite the bullet and get them delivered, you know, ordered from Australia and sent over here. I've not seen anyone else that does them, which is a shame because the MDF ones kind of break um, get some hammer over time. So these, I really want these acrylic ones. They're, they're funky, you can have them in whatever colour you want. They're, they're absolutely brilliant. And if you're watching Guy in Australia, haha, <laughs> advertising, please send one my way, I'll review it with all my 18 or 20 subscribers, whatever I've got at the minute. But yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, another cool present for Christmas. Um, which leads up now to the final thing, which is a bit out of the box, but a bit different, is custom dice. Now, Games Workshop do their own dice when an army is released. These are the latest Ogre ones, which are cool. Like huge dice, because, hey, Ogres are huge. The only problem is they do them as splash releases. So they, they come out when an army is released, and they go quickly and then people buy loads of them go on ebay and sell them for stupid amounts of money um, because people couldn't get hold of them the first time and, and want some dice and i understand that because i'm a bit of a, a, a dice freak myself i love dice i've got loads of different custom dice and like to play with whatever army i'm using i like their dice these are like my holy grail special blood angel dice Oh, Blood Angel dice. Waited years for them. Uh, finally got them, bought myself like a couple of uh, boxes of them because, you know, nothing better than throwing fistfuls of dice in a game. Um, however, as I say, you can't always get hold of those or they become rapidly expensive because people buy them and sell them on eBay. So, um, you can, there are companies out there that make their own dice. Here is, trying to get it into focus a little bit, dice we did for our gaming club with our club logo on, which is red steel. And then I got some in a sort of goldy, silvery colour. Symbols are on the six. They work out at about a pound a dice. You can get whatever you want on them. Uh, when I had my Thousand Sons army, I got some Thousand Sons dice from a company called Counter Attack Bases. I will put a picture up of them across my face shortly. I'll put up their Facebook page. As I say, it works out about a pound of dice. I think they have a minimum of order of about 15 dice, but you wanna be around the 20 dice mark anyway. Um, some of the games we play, you're just sho shoving fistfuls of dice down. They work out about a pound of dice, but if you get quite a lot of dice, I think it, they have like a slider where if you do so many, it, it gets cheaper per unit, which is pretty cool. My Thousand Sons ones, I like got some red ones for the normal infantry with the Thousand Sons logo on. Got some white ones with the logo on for like sergeants, and then got some silver ones for my special characters. So when I was playing a game, you know, these attacks are the sergeant, these attacks are the normal guys. Just chuck them down um, and, and it, sa it saved you rolling things separately, which was pretty cool. The other thing that links in with custom dice is Dice Bag, which I got these this from eBay. I think I've got an orange one and a purple one. Um, once again, another cool little idea around the five or six pound mark. Uh, get someone a dice bag to take down the club. Keep all your funky, weird and wonderful, and I've got loads of weird and wonderful dice in there. As I say, I'm a bit of a dice freak. I do love a pack of dice, I'm a sucker. So that's the final one on the list, but a really special present. You know, if you're a wife, you're really searching for the hobbyist that's got everything. 
sneakily get some of these made. Oh, I'm going to say wife, husband of an amazing hobbyist, you know. It's not just blokes that play this hobby, girls love it too. Get some special dice made for your loved ones. They'll, they'll, you know, they'll be brilliant down the club and they're chucking loads of them down and everyone's going, oh, they're cool. Never get the symbol on the one though. Always get them on the six. That's the, the best thing I can recommend. So that's all ten things. All right, I'll uh, move on to closing down uh, or doing the finale of this video for you shortly. So that's the end of this video on uh, 10 ideas. You can get someone for Christmas. I hope either yourself or your family members get some inspiration or some ideas from this. That'd be really cool. Um, the final thing is please like, subscribe and share the video. Um, I'll put links to some of the items below so you can get them from Amazon if, if you want to. That'd be great. And also I'll put up a link to my Facebook page. Um, I'm still pretty new, still trying to get the word out there um, and, and get more subscribers and things so whatever you can do would be a great help okay i'll be working on some new videos soon uh, hopefully a couple of unboxing videos i'm going to try those um, with a special new item which is coming out this is the end of uh, november so some people might be thinking sisters a battle and they'd be quite right so i'll see you soon uh, in a new video and bye for now take care